score a cup. I need you to cup to score goals. When you put it like that, ice hockey is a simple sport, really, enjoyed by hundreds of players across the south of all ages. I like it because it's really fun and energetic and you, it's just really cool. It's all I do. I train seven times a week, two games on the weekend. It's everything. It's fast, it's exciting. There's nothing like it. With recent rink closures in Bracknell and in Ryde on the Isle of Wight, the community here in Basingstoke is keen to showcase just how important it is that their rink remains open. This rink is used from 5am in the morning until midnight, hour after hour, and then you've got the public skates as well. It's, it's just used so much. Uncertainty over the rink's ownership continues, put up for sale in the summer and the subject of a long-running dispute over who's responsible for much-needed repair work. The council, who own the land, or a company called Standard Securities who own the building. Last month, campaigners caught in the middle sent a clear message that they want to keep ice in Basingstoke. It would be really, really sad if, uh, if we see the rain going, so I hopefully that won't happen. And just, you see them, just leave them, you know, just leave them dream their dreams. The hockey world is a small world, but a tight world, so we all like to try and pull together when people's rinks are under pressure or at risk of closing down. On the ice, Basingstoke Junior Bison are flying. A 3-0 win for the under-12s against Guildford this weekend, further evidence of success. But it's the positive impact off the ice that also counts. My son um, suffers a lot with anxiety and this is his happy place. This is where he shines, this is where his confidence is. So it just means everything to us. Since it opened in 1988, this ice rink and the bison have become a key part of Basingstoke's identity. Those who use the rink often are now left hoping that that legacy doesn't come to an abrupt stop.